Uh, I think we played uh, much better defensively. I think just communicating and talking, we did a lot better. Staying in front of our command and not giving up threes, we did uh, really well on tonight. What, what was the key on not giving up the threes? Because they almost went the whole game without even making one. Right? Yeah, I think uh, what, I think it was so late they finally hit a three. But I think it was just you know knowing where our rotations are, staying in the front. And when you don't have to help as much, it's hard for them to shoot threes because we're staying in front of our man. Tyler, what should we make of your steal total? Does that show when you're playing good defense, or is that just kind of a byproduct? Uh, I don't know. I'm just playing D, getting, uh, anticipating well, and just you know, staying in the passing lanes. Well, how did you develop that sense of anticipation? Because Coach mentioned it to us, too. Uh, I don't know. I, was, I guess you could say I was born with it. I don't know. Do you, do you feel like that gets you going on the other end, too? Just yeah. The, the, because it, maybe you're a little looser? After yeah, I think. Plays? Yeah, just uh, my bad. Be more energized on uh, uh, defense. I think that just you know, shows over to the offense. And being more involved just you know, helps with that energy. Kel mentioned that Tony Barney said to him, we need to put in some uh, transition defense drills yeah. because that's where we're kind of getting killed. And I know they've got, they had guys, big guys trailing in a couple of those games and catching you sleeping. Um, how much of a difference did that make, and what what do those drills look like? How do you? Uh, we I think we started it two days ago. Um, the first day, we both sides we all we all struggled and kind of showed that we are you know lacking in transition defense. And then yesterday uh, it got much better. And then today it was better again than uh, shooting around this morning. So I think just continue to do that every day. Um, same with all the defensive drills we've been doing. I think just continue like you, like coaches uh, been preaching. It's, it's going to be a process. So I think we'll be fine. How does that drill look? Like what is what is it? Uh, it's five guys on five guys on the uh, free throw line, five guys on the baseline. Wherever the coach throws the ball, one guy has to go touch the baseline while the other team's going five on four on the other end. So the uh, whoever touched the baseline has to get back and communicate and talk. How satisfying is it for us to be asking you a lot of questions without bringing up shooting? Uh, feels good. Uh, I think just you know going out there. And just, I think overall as a team, just playing defense. Um, I think that just takes away, like Coach said, we didn't we didn't run much plays tonight because we got stops on the defense end and we were able to play more free on the offensive end. Tyler, you had three straight points. Pump back and we'll look at another open three that you passed to to Kwani. How tempted were you to shoot the ball in the corner and what did you decide? To uh, I just try to make the right play every time down the court. Um, Quad is just as good or better shooter than me, so whenever he gets the opportunity, he can you know, let it go. As you've seen tonight, he had a few threes. And when he has it going, I think we'll just go a lot better team. I remember asking you about why you didn't, want, didn't like the uh, way he was a shooter. Yeah. It, but tell me again, because I, what's wrong with being a shooter? Uh, I guess there's really nothing wrong with being a shooter, but. Uh, I kind of try to get that label of being a spot of shooter off me, just being able to make the right plays and get my teammates involved and, and just trying to get better on defense and on defense end every night. How much is Cal stressing you guys that the energy is what will get you playing time? Uh, he, he says it every day, uh, more, more than once. Uh, he said he's been you know, watching games from the SEC and just seeing the main thing right now is we, he believes we got better players, but everybody's just playing harder than us. So he's just trying to find a group of guys who can go out there and play hard for however long it might be. What was it like for you guys when you